Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Once of Life Chairman Neil Bush. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, last year was quite a year of transition for our family with the passing of both my mom and dad. Um, it's hard to put into words how blessed we were as a family to see both lives celebrated so beautifully. It was awesome to hear the many positive commentaries about dad's life at the funerals and on TV. Story after story. What was interesting to me, though, was the preponderance of the stories weren't really uh, biographical, about how he was a war hero, a businessman, how he served in Congress, the UN, CIA, went on to become vice president and president. They weren't even overly focused on the history that he helped to create. The end of the Cold War, the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act, the handling of the China relationship um, after Tiananmen, or the liberation of Kuwait. The stories that resonated with America were stories that reflected his character. How he defended the, the kid being bullied in high school. How he defied his parents' advice and out of a patriotic sense of duty, enlisted to become a bomber pilot in the United States Navy on his 18th birthday. How he helped mom deal with the loss of Robin, their three-year-old daughter. How he wrote the note to express his love and, and congratulations for a friend's newly born grandchild or to offer words of sympathy uh, to a friend in need. How he called one of the White House ushers years after leaving office to offer condolences for the loss of his son. There were stories shared by people that I had never heard of, that our family had never heard of. The pin pal in the Philippines, a young woman who was altered by his kind and encouraging words. His notes, his words, his interactions were, with others were always delivered with humility, sometimes with humor, but always with the intent to lift others. It was from this depth of character that he was inspired to use his bully pulpit to call on all of us to lead successful lives defined by serving others. His constant call to do good, to take action, and to be our civic best selves is not only timely, and clearly it is timely, but it's timeless. It will not only survive, but will flourish in this new era of engagement, a civic century, as long as we continue to make it our own, to make it real for each other, for our children, for our neighbors, for the employees embedded and ingrained in our communities. So thank you for being bright points of light, for deploying armies of points of light in the communities that you serve. Thank you for establishing a culture of civic engagement uh, in your hometowns, in our country, and around the globe. Thank you for helping to perpetuate the legacy of serving others that was the vision and lifelong aspiration of our inspiration, our founder, my dad. Thank you all.